What's up everybody and welcome to the energy station. Dr. Energy here, giving you the pump. Woo! Alright, we got AMP Citrate. This stuff is woo la 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 la. I've used it like a couple years ago and I loved it. It sort of gives you more like it gives you like a stimulant. It's a stimulant, gives you energy. It acts as like a um amphetamine, like an Adderall or Ritalin, like a mini, like similar to that um nature. Um. It's like, you know, it's sort of, you know, or like DMMA. Um, yeah, AMP Citra, all right. Um, AMP, let's see. Let's see. All right, AMP Citra, um, this compound that goes by many names. AMP citrate is 4 amino 2 methyl pentane. If you could pronounce that 4 amino 2 methyl pentane. Um, hence, you know, the AMP. Um, it's also known as 1 3 dimethyl butylanamine, which is DMBA, which bears unmistakable chemical structure similarities um to 1,3 dimethyl linamine DMAA which is the stuff you know which is yeah DMMA D, blah, 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 DMAA which is that stuff that they tried to ban which everybody loves in their pre-workout like woo yippee yippee kai yo kai yum bye yippee yay yo kai yum bye okay um yeah, so this is um, infamous ingredient found in many fat burners and pre-workout supplements was banned by the FDA. So it's it's banned along AMP Citra is banned with um DMM DMAA DMAA or one three dialethamine whatever. Um, I don't know about now. I think they they brought it back because I've seen some some supplements that they had that. But I remember when the ban took place and everyone was like, was rushing. Ah, ah, I need my, um, DMAA. Rawr. They were like, they were just they were on eBay. People were running, they were just grabbing their supplements. Like, oh, I got my, um, my C4 or my whatever, um, my super stack, you know, workout. Now I could, um. You know, it has the one three. It still has a one three, so it won't you know, So now I could still have it. People were buying it like in bulk, so they, when it runs, when they um ban it, they could still have it. Yeah, this stuff is like well, one the DMAA is pretty boom, but AMP Citrite. Um, I liked it. I got it on on um from Powder City, and I added it to my pre workout, and I felt the boom. All right, the benefits of AMP citrate um, is an increase of energy, obviously, especially when it's um, combined with caffeine, heightened mental focus, improved metabolism, and an increase in athletic performance. So it was, it gave you, uh, yeah, athletic performance. I was able to, you know, it gives you the boom. And it also gave you the mental focus. It gave you that tunnel vision type, like bang, 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 bang. So the shit was the bomb. It's the bomb diggity squad. I loved it. Um, yeah, it was it was almost as good as like um like an Adderall piece, like one of the like the like the dextroamphetamine pills. I'll do a profile on that um one of these days. Yeah, so the AMP citrate, um, the side effects are also similar to DMAA. Because of the lack of research and the chemical being new, it's impossible for authorities to claim that it is safe. Anxiety, agitation, tendency to crash, headaches, and cardiovascular issues are some possible consequences of consuming AMP citrate. 
Yeah, because I know the DMAA definitely gives you a crash. You'll be like, And you're like, So, um, AMP Citrate, not as much. I wasn't like, But it did do that. But like I said, um, the crash is mostly with the sugar. So if you um, don't put any, have any sugar intake, your crash won't be as hard. You probably won't crash as hard. You might even barely notice it. So remember, the, the crash is mostly in the um, amount of use of sugar. Um, the legal, is it legal? Is this stuff legal? Um, as of today, yes. AMP citrate is not an illegal ingredient. It is, however, being examined by the FDA after lots of complaints about its side effects were officially submitted. Thus, while AMP citrate is legal for human consumption, a lot of companies have pulled it off the shelves to ensure they won't become an FDA target in the future. Yeah, so I don't know exactly whatever happened with AMP Citrate. I know they definitely took off the, the DMA, DMAA, 1,3-dialethamine, whatever. Um, I call I say 1,3-dialethamine, but the real is 1,3-dimethyl um, lamalamine. No, lamalamine, mine. Dialmethylene, whatever we'll call it that. Um, yeah, this stuff is the bomb. I was I would take it for a train, and it gave me the pump. Like I whooped ass in the cage. You know, the stuff is legit. Blasted over the dubs, like dan it to dan dan, dan it to dan dan, dan it to dan dan dan. Um, yeah, AMP citrate. Um. Like the dosage, um, they say is around ten to sixty milligrams. You know, AMP citrate the most effective for boosting exercise energy thirty minutes before workout. Um, you could take it. You could take it for not work. You could take it like for chilling, like if you're studying, or if you have to get stuff done. You go to work. Like if you have a job that's hard, and your job says you gotta bust your ass today. I need you. Take some AMP citrate. That will definitely um, um, surface. Um, yeah. Alright, um, AMP citrate, um, is it natural? Like, is it natural or is it a drug? Um, there are many reports that it is. It is naturally part of the herbal extract Pouchong, or Chinese white tea. Um, while well, other studies says it is found, um, it can be found for a found form of essential oils of a flower named um, Coropus tinctoria or Calip Calliopesis. Yeah, this freaking these these words, man. I can't even say them. But you know, this is this is bro science. When you come here, it's not, you know. Because bro science is definitely better than regular science all day. Alright, um... Yeah, so I like... I would take like 20. But I added other stuff. So if you're taking M AMP Citrate, um... And you're, um... And you want to feel the bang, um... The dosage should be whatever you're taking. So if you're taking, um... Taking it with like your Himbe, um, green tea, um, anything that's an, uh, another stimulant, I would keep it at the low, like 10. Like if you're taking other ones too, caffeine, um, your Himbe, um, raspberry ketone, anything that stimulates you, so... If you're taking other stimulants, a lot of other stimulants, keep it at like 10 to 20 milligrams. If you're taking it by itself or just with caffeine, you could go 30 to 60. But it depends. If you've never used it, start out light. Start out 10, see how it feels. 10 to 20, to put like 20 milligrams. And then as you, you know, go up, you go to 30 to 40, maybe 50 to 60. Depends on what you need. 
you know. So, so everyone's different, you know what I'm saying? But the dosage is 10 to 60 milligrams. So you could, you know, figure out the dose there. All right, everybody. And that is all from Dr. Energy. From the Energy Station. Signing out.